from you. This one's for your belly. It's good for my posture. Is your name Mark Robert Michael Wahlberg? Yes. Are you 47 years old? Yes. Are you about to take a polygraph exam? I'm already taking one. Let's start by talking about Boston. Were you born in Dorchester? Yes. Would you say that you're more Boston than Matt Damon? I'm more, much more street than Matt Damon. But Matt Damon is very um, cool, very Cambridge. Dorchester and Cambridge are a little bit different, but Matt is a very authentic Boston guy. And what do you think of his Boston accent? His Boston accent is certainly as good as mine. That's a fact. You ever eat at Dunkin'? Donuts? Not for about mm, 20 some odd years. Oh man, no, I had, maybe had a munchkin. One of those little ones playing. Is that your favorite munchkin? It is now, but the chocolate glazed munchkin used to be the bomb when I was younger. Do the Patriots have a shot this year? I always got a shot. That's why everybody hates him so much. Because they always got a shot. Oh, I almost tilted my head there. I almost shook my head, sir. Would you say that Jimmy Garoppolo is a better quarterback than Tom Brady? No. But I think Jimmy Garoppolo is a great quarterback, and I think Jimmy Garoppolo was the man to take over for Brady because he is, if there's anybody close to being as good as Jimmy Garoppolo, he's, he's one of those guys. He's got a lot more to prove. You know, Tom's made it to eight Super Bowls and won five. The greatest of all time. So you gotta win, you gotta win, you gotta, you gotta beat him. Do you ever cheer for the Yankees? No. Never? Never. You seem a bit nervous there, Mark. I never. Is there any city you love more than Boston? Paris. Now it's time to talk about the essentials. Have you ever eaten a burger from Wahlburgers? Yes. Is it better than a Big Mac? Yes. Much. Where does a wall burger rank against all the other burgers you've ever had? Number one. Except for the burger that I've made at my house for my brother Paul. I can tell you how I feel about all the other burger places too. Do you read reviews of your performances in movies? Good ones. But not the bad ones? Every once in a while I'll take a peek at the bad ones to see how bad it is. But I have uh, people that work with me that will sift through them and have a tendency to send the good ones. Have you ever responded to an online troll? No. Really? Never talked to anybody online. Do people recognize you on the street? Sometimes. Sometimes they mistake me for other people. Do they ever mistake you for Matt Damon? Many times. And have you ever pretended to be Matt Damon? Yes. A couple times. I mean, the big thing is I just don't have time to explain or the, the difference between Matt Damon and myself. So I say, I don't know if they say we loved you and born, I just say thank you. Keep going. Is there a line from one of your movies that people shout out at you? Uh, a lot of people say, say hi to your mother for me, which is so random because I don't ever remember actually saying that. Fear is quoted quite a bit. Departed is quoted quite a bit. I'm the guy who does his job. You must be the other guy. Um, people shout that at you on the street. Like random shit. Yeah. Is it true that you have a tattoo of Bob Marley on your shoulder? It's true that I had a tattoo of Bob Marley on my shoulder. I had all my tattoos removed. Is that true? I heard that you still write raps sometimes. Is that true? Yes. So, 
You gonna drop a mixtape soon? Or? No. Let's talk about your career. Do you ever hang out with any of your co-stars? No. Never? On occasion. Rarely. So you never hang out with this man outside of work? I would like to, but he doesn't return my calls. Is Will Ferrell as funny in real life as he seems on camera? Yes. Did he make you laugh off screen? Yes. Do you remember anything he said? He says many funny things, often. But he is also sweeter than he is funny, if that's uh, possible. It's hard to believe, but it's true. How am I doing, buddy? Stiffer than me over there. He's good. When you played Mark Wahlberg in Entourage, was that an accurate depiction of you? No. Are there any roles you turned down that you wish you hadn't? No. Really? I've dodged more bullets than I have made bad choices. Well, I've dodged more bullets than missed opportunities, so. Would you say that the Transformers movies were the best toy adaptation movies to date? My two Transformers were certainly not. I think the first Transformers was, 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 was probably the best, but you know, then you got the Lego movie, which is pretty damn good. I uh, have to like screen them both simultaneously. There's literally two screens at once to really like, make a fair assessment of that. Is that honest? Moving on to workouts. Do you work out every day? No, not every day, but most days. Would you like to work out every day? No, I think there's a time to rest, um, but I do always feel better. Like I feel bad going into the gym, but I always feel good when it's over. What do you bench? The most I've ever benched, I'd say, is 365. But labrum tears in both shoulders, so benching's not good. You ever bench another person? I have benched another person. I've thrown another person across the room onto another person while they were sleeping on the couch. I have a video of it I can show you later. It's a good video. I'd like to check that out. Do you think you could outlift this person, Dwayne The Rock Johnson? I don't, I don't think I could uh, outlift him. We actually, we made a movie together. And we, we worked out, not really together, we kind of worked out on the set a little bit, but he's a, a very strong man. If it were just a lifting contest, no, I think he would, uh, he would be hard to beat, but you know, functional movement exercises and stuff, I think we could make him vomit his breakfast in the gym with other exercises that are not for a big man as his size. Last up, we're talking about security. Are you an agent of the Israeli government? I have affiliates in the Mossad, yes. <laughs> Good one, Mark. Have you ever been involved in acts of espionage? No. I'm feeling a little uncertain over there, my friend. Can we trust you? Yeah. In this situation. Is there something that people don't know about you that you wish they did? No. There are probably a lot of things that people don't know about me, but I'm not necessarily concerned with them knowing. Is that true? Bam. Final question. At any point in this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? No. I think, if anything, I just maybe didn't say the complete whole truth and nothing but the truth, maybe not to offend you. <laughs>